Welcome to Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. Our team is committed to bringing Type 1 diabetics the latest medical developments to manage this disease. We also cover current medical advancements seeking a cure for T1D. If you value this content, please feel free to show your support by clicking on our homepage and hitting the link to buy us a coffee. Your support helps our team to research topics for upcoming videos. We thank you for your support. Hey, good morning, everybody. Jim here, Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. Today, we have an update for you on Novo Nordisk. In uh, late 2024, we did a story about the fact that the FDA had declined to approve their request for marketing a once weekly insulin. We do have an update on that. They are going to resubmit their application after they uh, fix some things that the FDA was very concerned about. So uh, we'll get to that. Hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, we'd like all the support we can get so we can get more information out to diabetics around the world. And also a shout out to all the good people who have bought us a coffee and supported this channel. Every bit of your support helps and we thank you for that. Now let's find out the latest on insulin Icodec and that is from our good friends over at Novo Nordisk. FDA rejects Novo Nordisk's type 1 diabetes drug over safety fears. Novo Nordisk type 1 diabetes update, FDA. Novo Nordisk's once weekly insulin Icodec, marketed as a weekly, has encountered regulatory challenges in the United States concerning its use for type 1 diabetes. FDA advisory panel decision. In May 2024, the FDA's Endocrinologic and Metabolic Drugs Advisory Committee voted 7-4 to four against approving insulin Icodec for type 1 diabetes. The panel expressed concerns about an increased risk of hypoglycemia without significant benefits over existing daily insulin therapies. Notably, patients using Icodec experienced a 50-80% to 80 higher incidence of severe hypoglycemia compared to those on daily insulin Diglutec, Traceba. FDA Rejection and Manufacturing Concerns Following the panel's recommendation, the FDA issued a complete response letter in July 2024, declining approval for insulin Icodec. The agency cited concerns related to the manufacturing process and the type 1 diabetes indication. Novo Nordisk acknowledged these issues and indicated that it would be unable to address them by 2024. International Approvals and Future Plans Despite setbacks in the U.S., insulin Icodec has been approved for both type 1 and type 2 diabetes in several countries, including the European Union, Canada, Japan, and Australia. Novo Nordisk plans to resubmit its application for U.S. approval in the first half of 2025. Competitive Landscape Eli Lilly is developing its once-weekly insulin, Efsatora Alpha, which has shown promising results in late-stage trials for type 2 diabetes. However, challenges remain in optimizing dosing for type 1 diabetes patients, as studies have reported increased hypoglycemia episodes in this group. Here's a detailed update on Novo Nordisk's type 1 diabetes program and its interactions with the US FDA as of 2024-2025. Global status, approved in the EU, Canada, Japan, Australia, and other countries for type 2 diabetes. Also approved for type 1 diabetes in the EU, though some experts expressed caution due to safety data. Resubmission timeline. Novo Nordisk has paused its US type 1 diabetes application and is not planning running a resubmission until at least mid to late 2025, pending resolution of manufacturing and clinical concerns. We here at Type 1 Diabetic Warriors will keep a close eye on any changes Novo Nordisk makes to this therapy to gain FDA approval. So let's go ahead and celebrate the fact that uh, once weekly insulin would be really a godsend for managing this disease. And uh, we wish them all the luck in the world. We, we hope they can overcome these issues of low blood sugar events because nobody wants to go through that and it can be life-threatening. We're also uh, enthused by the fact that Eli Lilly is also working on a competitor uh, also a once weekly insulin, you know, competition is a good thing. And uh, so the heat is on and these guys are probably going to work out whatever it is they need to work out to get the FDA approval. Um, you know, you can check and see where you live if uh, talk to your doctors and see if this is available. 
And I think it's just another positive step, at least in treating this disease. In the meantime, if it can make our life easier while we're waiting for the cure to come, hey, that's a good thing. Hey, thanks for stopping by today. We'll have another exciting video for you here on Type 1 Diabetic Warriors real soon. Until then, take care of those blood sugars, and we'll talk to you again real soon.